Homeowners associations are responsible for a lot of important elements of their community, from shared amenities to common areas, and even to the homes of its many members. You might be surprised about how many homeowners associations are improperly insured. Chris Vitan, Senior Insurance Agent at Insurance Centers of America, is here to provide important insight today on how to make sure your HOA is properly protected. Don't miss this exclusive opportunity to get the answers to your insurance questions and make sure your HOA is properly insured. Well, yes, Sarah, uh, through my experience, I have seen that homeowners associations have three main areas that they need to protect and be careful about. The first one is the property coverage. Of course, that's the coverage that's gonna cover the buildings and the grounds and everything. The second is the liability coverage, which is going to cover them from any frivolous lawsuits. And the third one, which a lot of homeowners associations don't always think of, is the board member coverage. And that's the directors and officers coverage and the protection against them from crime and fidelity and so on. First one I'd like to talk about is the property coverage. In 2021, the end of the, of the year, we saw uh, the Marshall Fire come through up in the Boulder area, approximately, I think, 1,400 buildings that were destroyed in a relatively short period of time. And there were several homeowners associations and condominium associations that were destroyed also. Uh, and one thing that they found out that a lot of those associations did not have proper coverage on their property. So there were a lot of gaps in those coverages uh, to the tune of millions of dollars. What that meant is that some of these are gonna have to dip into their own pockets in order to pay to have these buildings and these structures and everything all rebuilt. Second topic I'd like to talk about that is very important is liability. A lot of homeowners associations think that uh, liability coverage is just gonna take care of them for slips and falls and so on. It gets into so many different aspects of that. Um, slips and falls are very important, but I had a uh, an HOA that I was working with that had one of their residents unloading their groceries from their car, uh, stepped in a hole in the pavement, twisted their ankle, fell, broke their hip, had to go to the hospital um, and have surgery. Now, because of the surgery, physician who was working on them accidentally left some sponges inside their body. So they had to go back in. Since the original accident was caused from the fall due to the hole in the parking lot, the HOA association had to pay out in excess of over $500,000 and have her all taken care of. Liability coverage is very important and having adequate liability coverage also. The third thing I wanna to touch on is the DNO coverage or directors and officers coverage which is the protection for the board members. Most people think that whenever there is a lawsuit or anything like that, money is always the end goal. And so on our policies is what we look at also is making sure we have non-monetary coverage. Board members can be sued if the homeowners association thinks that the board members are not doing their proper jobs for if trees are supposed to be trimmed and they're not being taken care of, the board members can be sued for all this. Uh, you know, the end result would be proper trimming of trees, proper maintenance of property. There's really no money they're going after, but the board members still need this type of protection because they're going to have to hire attorneys to defend them for that. Without the proper coverages, without non-monetary coverage, aside from the regular coverages that come with DNO protection, uh, if the board members don't have that, they could be left out in the cold uh, and having to pay for any defense costs out of their own pocket. Um, with that being said, if you are a board member or even a homeowner with an HOA association and have concerns, do I really have the proper coverage for my master policy within my association? Get in contact with me. I'd love to sit down, go over the policy, go over everything and make sure, are you properly protected? It's better to find out now rather than in a claim situation when you find out you don't have the coverage. Great, Chris. Thank you so much. These are just a few of the key things to consider when it comes to insurance coverage for the homeowners association and protection for the board members. I would highly recommend speaking with someone who has the knowledge in this area. And Chris is one of those people. He knows how to navigate the coverages that you need. Chris's contact information is in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. And if you found any value in this video, please give us a thumbs up to like the video, subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss another video from Advancing Insurance Professionals.